Russian army missing long-range artillery systems, U.S. made him as cause quite a lot of problems for the Russian troops. Russian precision-guided weapons are no longer capable of changing the course of the military operation in Ukraine. Long-range artillery and air defense missile systems, satellite reconnaissance data should be used more actively, military expert Oleg Falichev writes in the Independent Military Review. Most of the artillery systems operational with the Russian army, such as 152mm D-20 towed howitzers, 122mm D-30 howitzers, Akaya and Grodika self-propelled systems, have a range of 15 to 17 kilometers. This range does not allow hitting the enemy's deep targets, the expert notes. According to Falichev, US made him as long-range multiple launch rocket systems cause quite a lot of problems for the Russian troops. Depending on the projectiles, HIMARS can deliver fire even to a distance of up to 300 kilometers, but the US refuses to deliver such long-range missiles, only 70-kilometer range rockets. On July 27, a HIMARS MLRS attack partially destroyed the Antonovsky Bridge near Kherson. According to Falichev, this strike was directed with the use of the US satellite constellation. The M270 and M142 HIMARS, multiple launch rocket system, launch platforms provide the mobility, command and control interface, communications processing, computation, and soldier machine interface to accurately fire a single rocket or a multiple rocket sequence. The HIMARS can fire a pod of up to six guided M31A1 227mm rockets that equipped with a 90kg warhead with 23kg of explosive that can detonate above the ground, on impact, or deep in a bunker. Now the tactical pause is ending on the front lines, Falichev says. According to him, the pause in operations began two weeks ago, and was necessary to redeploy reserves, weapons and ammunition to the tactical theater and reman battalion task forces and military units. Also, it was necessary to carry out military personnel rotation. As Falichev says, the American Institute for the Study of War, which has been monitoring the current situation in Ukraine. Since HIMARS systems are extremely dangerous, they are being actively destroyed. According to the Defense Ministry, from July 5 to 20, out of US made him as multiple launch rocket systems transferred to Ukraine, four launchers and one transloader were eliminated by ground-based and air-launched precision weapons. Two launchers were eliminated near Malaterinovka, one more HIMARS and a transloader were wiped out near Krasnamysk, and the fourth launcher on the eastern outskirts of the DPRs, Donetsk People's Republic, Konstantinovka. According to the expert, after the attack on the Antonovsky Bridge, an S-400 Triumph air defense missile system was urgently redeployed from Crimea to ensure security of the bridge Falichev believes that the 12 new HIMARS systems recently handed over to Ukraine by U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin. Thus, according to the current problems of the Russia's military operation lies in the mobility of air defense missile systems, their sufficient number and, as already noted, timely reconnaissance data. At the same time, this data should be obtained from both aircraft and unmanned aerial vehicles and the Russian military satellite constellation. The M31A1 GMLRS guided rocket is capable of attacking targets out to ranges of 70 km, and uses inertial measurement unit guidance along with GPS to enhance accuracy. The universal fire control system of HIMARS gives an extremely precise all-weather capability. One of the most effective weapons for land forces when a long-range precision strike is required. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe.